Hi, everybody. This is Ginger, and I'm not going to be able to make it on Saturday, so I wanted to show you what I have done and maybe offer a little tutorial on my little book. So this is the prototype type to my little book, and I don't know yet if I'm going to do this a whole lot more times. This was... Uh, Pretty labor intensive. I'm gonna turn a light on. There. So that might be better. Okay, so this was a little labor intensive. It took me maybe maybe about an hour and a half from start to finish. So what I have is this little this little um, envelope, and my book is inside. It slides out like this and there's the front cover and it says he didn't leave his shoes anywhere instead he kept them in the trunk of his old Chevy if it weren't for superstition and the southern backs of bitter women he would have nothing else. His women liked the shoes well worn. And once they served their purpose, worn and ragged, he moved on to a new pair. Okay, so that's it. And what I did, um, these sketches are mine. I have the uh, shoe shine brush, the uh, what is this called? The shoe polish. And all I did was with just a regular ballpoint pen, I just sketched out the art, the artwork. And then some of them are colored, and I just used colored pencils. Not, not a big deal on that. Okay, and then I made this little envelope, and let's see if it'll go in there. That's where the book goes. All right, so the supplies that I used, I used a sheet of paper, nine by 12 and a half, and it's this uh, mixed media art paper that I got at, um, Michaels. So I used, let's see, I used one and a little bit of a sheet of this to make one book. And so that's what, that's what this is. And then for the envelope, I used a sheet of cardstock. And I think I got this at Michael's also, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and I used just um, not even a half a sheet of this. All right, so what I did with this paper was, excuse my mess here. I work on this desk, so it's a lot of stuff here. So the only other things that I needed that I used were uh, scissors, pencil to do some marking, and a ruler. All right. So I take this paper and fold it in half lengthwise. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this right along this crease right here. Okay. 
And then what I did with this was I measured my paper is 12 inches. So I figured I would do this. It's, it's, the paper is nine by 12. So this is four and a half this way. So this way I did three inch, three inch um, pages. So one, two, three, put a mark, one, two, three, put a mark, one, two, three, put a mark. And then using the edge of my ruler, what I did was I lined up, let's see if I can get this so you can see it. I lined up this mark, if you can see it, it's really tiny with the side of my ruler and I have a clear ruler so I can see through it and it has all these line marks on it and so what I did was I lined up the line here on my ruler and the edge of the paper and then the mark with the edge of the ruler here because I'm going to be lazy and crease this like that And then do the same thing here. Now, the other thing you can do is be more precise about it and go ahead and mark those lines with a pencil. But I didn't want to uh, take the time to do that, just being a little lazy. All right, so there's my fourth page. All right. So I do mountain and valley folds on each of these creases just to make it easier for, for me to manipulate the book. So this is one half of my book. Okay, so I'm gonna fold the other side. And then you're going to need a piece of paper that will join your pages. Okay, so my book is one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages, but this is only one, two, three, four. So what I did was when I folded the second half, I butt them together like this. I cut a piece of paper that is the same width as two of these and the same height as one. So it's four and a half by six. And then I taped it, I, I folded it in half and then I taped it over this part to hold those two pages together. So right here, this is the center of the book. There's another piece of paper that's taped here to hold them together. So it will do that. All right. Okay. So there's that side. And then I'll do this side real quick. is my 12 inches. So I know that's hard to see. I'm sure you can't see it. But what I'm doing with the lines on my ruler. But if it's easier for you, you can just... Uh, Mark them like this. You can just mark the lines like this, and then fold it on the on 
that line. I am not going to take the time to do all of that. I'm just going to do this. And one last one. All right. So now I've got my two halves. I'm going to take these two and I'm not going to glue them to each other. I need another piece of paper for right there. I need a piece that's four and a half by six. So I'm going to measure out six inches. There we go. So there's my six. And I'm going to measure out four and a half this direction. And then I'm going to finish those lines. Now, I would definitely suggest that you mark your lines at more than one point. But because I have a see-through ruler, I can see, I can line it up here and then on my tick mark here. Otherwise, I would have put a tick here and a tick here and then line those two up. Okay, so... And then I'm going to cut this out. Save this paper, you can use this for something else. You can actually cut this across and make four more pages. So, nonetheless, okay, so this is my four and a half by six. I'm going to fold it in half this way. Yeah. Here's the two pages of my book, and here's my four by six. So what I'm gonna do, I have um, two-sided tape, double-sided tape. So I'm gonna put it across there. And you can use um, glue. I just didn't have any. And I actually just may go back and glue it just because. Ah! And I just ran out of tape. Okay, so I will definitely go back and glue it later when I have some glue. Or when I get some more tape. Alright, so. You get the gist. So I'm going to secure that on that side and then take this one and match it up and tape it on that side. 
So now, my book. Cover. All right. So there's that. So now, I'm going to get one of these pieces of cardstock for my envelope. Okay. And so what I did was I'm going to put this down from the edge just a little bit like that. Then using my ruler, I'm going to give it about, let me see, that's about an eighth, one, two, three, four, yeah, about an eighth of an inch to a half an inch, I mean a quarter of an inch on the side. I'm going to do an eighth away from the edge of my book. I'm going to draw a line all the way down. And then on this side, same thing. Give myself a quarter of an inch and then draw a line all the way down. Okay. And I'm gonna mark the, where the end, end of my book is. Almost exactly like that. And then I'm going to measure from that line about a quarter of an inch and mark it. Then I'm going to give myself half inch flaps. So I'm going to measure out a half inch there and I'm going to measure out a half inch on that side because I need I need um, these flaps to close the envelope okay I'm gonna show you this whole thing in a second here all right so if you can see here's my flaps this is one side this is the other side and then here's the bottom Okay, hopefully you can see that. Okay, so I'm going to cut this out on the outside line. And I don't have to be super duper perfect right here. And I measured it by the size of the book. I used the book as the guide. Just because the thickness of, of your paper will vary the thickness of your um, of your envelope. So you don't want to have an envelope that is too small. All right. Okay, so there's my envelope. And now I'm going to mark these lines and fold them. Now I'm going to score it. And I have a knitting needle here. You don't have to score it, but I'm going to score it because it makes folding it easier. And all I'm doing is making a little like a crease on the paper with this. And if you have a bone folder, if you do paper crafts, you might have a bone folder. Of course, use that. Or if you have knitting needle, just something that's not gonna mar the paper. And then it makes 
holding these creases easy. Okay, so there's my flaps are folded. Now I'm going to fold the bottom so my book will fit in there. So then you're going to take these flaps, fold them in, fold this over, and tape them to the front of your envelope. And I think I creased this one here also. So let me do that. I'm going to crease it the same as this so it'll be an eighth of an inch that I'm going to make that crease there. and an eighth of an inch right there okay and then I'll fold those over So it'll give my envelope a little dimension. It'll make the book easier to slide in and out. Okay, so there's those flaps. Here's this flap. So you're going to secure this down here. Okay, so since I ran out of tape, I went and got my um, glue gun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here on this flap. And secure that. Oh, I went too far up. That's okay. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just a little bit. I don't want to glue my envelope shut, right? Glue gun issues. Okay. So we'll glue that. There we go. And then, and I glued um, that that page, that piece that's holding those together, I glued that in too. All right, so then your book will slide right in there like that. So what I need to do now is cut this flush and cut a little cut out so you can get your book out, right? Okay, so let's slide the book back out of there. And I'm just gonna cut this flush. Like that. I don't need to measure anything. So that's flush. Okay. And then to make the little cutout, what I did was I used a bottle cap. And I just did like this, traced it, and cut it. And so I'm going to do the same thing for this one. So I'm just going to eyeball it. It doesn't have to be exact. It might even be kind of fun to... Put it off to the side. Actually, let me do that. I'm gonna put it over here. So, like that. And then cut that out. And I'm cutting both um, front and back at the same time. up a little bit I got a lot going on on my desk a little marks on stuff all right so then slide that in there and voila there's your book in its envelope slide it out so you can do whatever however you want to decorate this write your words um, 
And that's it. Actually, I like this cover better than this cover for this book. So I'm going to slide this in here. See how it's a little bit big? Yeah, but that's okay. Um, and that's it. Now, the way that I did this, I didn't do this ahead of time. I wrote on, drew on my cover while the book was in it to give it some stability. So you can do that. Um, I need to glue these edges down. So I'll just use a little glue there. two-sided tape didn't uh, work very well, but it was probably old tape. Okay. And there you go.